So, hey guys, <laughs> I'm only making this live video. It's going to be very short and to the point um, because I need to document this on YouTube. So, the person that went under the name of Anti Drama and said that if I talked about CRVL, um, that things were going to get nasty. Then another account was made, um, Newcomb Jackson, which thank God one of my subscribers took a screenshot of and sent to me before they deleted it. Um, basically said that um, shit was about to get real in my resort. And they all right, all right. So what happened here? Nomad, nomadless life. Uh, she runs a uh, camper park, I guess, or something like that down in Florida. And apparently she had made some comments that were not so friendly about Carolyn's RV life, CRVL. And, and apparently somebody, one of the people that, that's on her channel, uh, did not like her comments and was making certain threats about something that was going to happen at that park. So she's been in touch, I guess, with the authorities and, and putting this video out and making some allegations and uh, I don't know, so, uh, you know, so, uh, and guess who else? Uh, but uh, post RTR drama talk and love. But something happened, we'll let you know. We'll, we'll or, or line screw, maybe he'll beat me to the punch and uh, get something up later today and uh, you can find out from him. Another one from RV Joey there, I don't know, man. I watch him and I just kinda go, okay. Uh, good stuff there for Mr. Slim Potato Head, our favorite Canadian. He's one of my favorite Canadians on the road there, getting stuff on the road. Good stuff. Always enjoy Mr. Potato Head. Uh, Van Life with Bernie, Becky, and Hank. Uh, our, our, one of my favorites of all time, Becky, uh, on a cruise, a well-deserved cruise there. She's got a lot of health issues. She's been on the road, and I just, I, I, th I think she's such a sweetheart, and I'm so glad she's having a nice time. Uh, Travel Trolls Dan, Travel Trolls TV Dan there is continuing his talk, his, tra his talk, his trek, uh, going south to north across Great Britain. Uh, he's only in Bristol, which means he has a long way to go, okay? He started out down in Cornwall, which is way down in southwestern England. He's in Bristol now. He's got a long way to go. He's raising some money for his girlfriends. I said his wife, I think, in the previous episode of Brat, stupid me. It's his girlfriend's dad who has some health issues and uh, needs a little bit of uh, financial help there. So he's trying to raise some money and meeting all the weirdos. I mean, there's a there are a lot of very, very eccentrically strange people people there in uh, kind of rural western England there. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll get through it. We'll get through it. We always do. Well, that's my first road kill. I'm going to have to walk right past it and it's a baby little deer. Oh, this is sad. Some old fella in the bar got on my nerves yesterday. I must have said something to someone there. I don't know that I was doing this. They must have asked me where I was going or something. And within five minutes, it's one of them pubs where everybody in the pub then knows what you're doing. Um, and this old guy followed me outside at one point. And says, he was probably like 45, so right? How many miles are you doing a day then? I says, so it varies. It can be between 10 and 16. No, oh, is that all? <laughs> oh, God. He was disgusted, he was. But that's all I'm doing. Anyways, we, we got talking. He says, I've been coming in here and drinking in here every afternoon for 35 years. So I thought I had to have a little dig at him. I said, so you've not walked 10 to 16 miles in the last 35 years then? He just shut up and went back inside. Ah, you showed him. <laughs> ah, charming, charming chats there from... Uh... Hiking uh, Dan there, uh, yeah, and I, I like I like England because they still use miles, not like those crazy Canadians, right? <laughs> Although they don't do the Fahrenheit temperatures, I think we're Americans are like the only country in the world where we still have Fahrenheit temperatures. But it does sound more interesting, you know, like instead of like a hot day being thirty five degrees, it's a hundred and ten. Oh yeah. Van life, van life, van life. It's just incredible.tv. Oh, good. He finally changed his opening. I guess that's a shout out to Van City Van Life, his uh, neighbor there up in These Vancouver. Too damn convenient. <laughs> his cost. channel has Two jumped ladies. leaps and bounds and, ahead uh, of Just Incredibles in terms of viewership, right? And he's only been around for a little while. You wash it down in about 
Awesome. All right, so there's the great purple van there that uh, Just Incredible has, and he keeps getting offers. People want to buy it. There, he, it's it's beautiful. He's got it all decked out inside. It's a gorgeous van. It's purple. It gets noticed. It's almost as noticeable as Nomadic Fanatics vehicle. You put the high pressure. Right so anyway, somebody wants to buy it. And it starts peeling off. So he's got an offer for, I think, 50K. I think that's, is that Canadian? On YouTube that I have gotten, oh, I don't know, my sixth or seventh offer now on this van. One of my viewers um, who follows me on uh, Instagram, I think on Facebook too. Anyways, 35 weeks ago, he posted under a picture of my van. He says, hold that for me until I have enough money. And I just kind of laugh because I get these comments every week from people who want to buy my van when they get enough money to make me an offer. Well, this guy just sold his apartment in Toronto and he offered me 50 grand for the van. Now, that's a couple thousand dollars more than the last offer that I got. Okay, so 50 grand Canadian is what? You know, third, I don't know what it is. It's, it's not 50 grand American. But anyway, that's still a lot of money, right? Anyway, Justin's, you know, thinking about it. You know, he keeps saying, he keeps getting these offers and he keeps turning them down. He likes living there. Uh, you know, you wonder, though, how much time he spends living in the van versus living in his ma's apartment there, which is also in Vancouver. You know, he's got a place to go if it gets really cold or something. But according to Line Screw, it's been convertible weather there, driving around with the top down. So uh, Van Vancouver's been having some warm weather. But uh, Justin's... Uh, uh, you know, he still keeps thinking about selling it and, uh, you know, getting something new. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's his, that's his mojo. That's his style. I think he should maybe just kind of, I think he should do a video with Van City Van Life. I think they need to get together and kind of do some camping together. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't know. He needs to get a dog too. Maybe a, maybe a bulldog. Here and also Terry and Scott. So, yep. Slab City, USA. So every day, Look someone's been cooking and sharing food. So I thought I would make my big, huge baked spaghetti and oh to share it with the group today. Oh mm -hmm. my word! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dive into I that. To top it with the cheese. Pandemonium. I gave Danny two blocks of cheese, and That's she right, was nice uh, enough to full tiny it house. Me. There you go. That is awesome. I think, right? Thank you, gal. All right. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Pandemonium, uh, Destination Open Road, Scott and Terry, uh, Danny, Steve, the whole gang, every, everybody's there in, uh, everybody is there in uh, sl Slim City, I was going to say Slab City, Slab, Keto, go Keto, Slab City there, yeah, everybody's in Slab City, uh, we had uh, 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 those other guys there, um, uh, uh, yeah. They're all there, okay? A whole bunch of other YouTubers are there, too. And uh, they're all having a good time. Mike and Stephanie. Yes, that's right. Mike and Stephanie are there, too. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so... Uh, oh. Anyway. So, uh, that's kind of a tradition. A lot of people, after they do RTR, they head west and go and see... Um, they go to... Baby, you know, where the heck... I still... We all we know... Where the heck are... Um, where the heck are... Um, Evie and Jed... Evie and Jed, you know, they're, aren't they in San Diego? And San Diego's not all that far from Slab City. Yeah. All right, all right. So anyway, good good eating there at the Slab. Allowed us to stay here this time. We're just, uh, I don't know, we're just a few miles from Biloxi, Mississippi. And the National Forest is closed down because of the government shutdown. Temperatures are really nice. Before I get into why I want to discuss southern climate temperatures. As everybody should know by now, we just left, like four days ago, temperatures that were in the zero to negative range. All right, so uh, Rob there finally got some sanity and said, I can't stand it here in, uh, in Missouri where there's like three feet of snow, and he decided to head south to Biloxi, Mississippi, where it's at least warmer. It's not hot, hot, but uh, at least temperatures are in the 40s, 50s, and 60s and not in the zeros. So anyway, that cold blast, there's a giant cold blast that's coming over the country next couple of days. Oh, my goodness, it's going to be like uh, really cold probably in Missouri. So uh, 
<laughs> bundle up. So anyway, and he also talks about the whole strategy for going down to Florida and when to go and how this time of the year you just can't find any empty campsites because everybody's down in Florida January and into February and stuff like that. So, uh, <clears throat> so he says Mississippi is preferable because it ain't so crowded. Camo Day Pet Palooza, Manny and Kathy with Boo Boo. It's Boo Boo. <laughs> and I guess that's a toy, right? Manny and Kathy, thank you for the Boo Boo. People are sending me a lot of uh, Pet Palooza pics on chat, which is cool. So go ahead and do that. It's a good way to do it. Uh, Camo Dave Hotline 571-419-0463. Send me a text with your, um, with your pet pic, and uh, we'll feature it on Pet Palooza. This is what I've been watching. I uh, got some new demonic there. Uh, so a lot of uh, King speaking, you know, the uh, uh, Elvis there. Uh, uh, Deborah Joy, just in her daily life. We got some more Billy Down Under there. Oh, up, we don't get the full bearded face anymore, huh? <laughs> Gus in the bus. We had an unstoppable Morgan live stream that didn't go anywhere. It it stopped dead in its tracks. Uh, a lot of the uh, good old uh, trolls there. We got American Super Tramp and some new stuff. Uh, Ferd fell. Oh, well, I can't say his name. I'm not supposed to say his name. Uh, the guy who uh, beat the crap out of Just Incredibles channel there, Van City Van Life. A uh, friendly rivalry, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, Black Bigot is, uh, I don't know, man. The poor guy is just desperately trying for views, driving around Texas there. I, I feel sorry for him. He's kind of wandering aimlessly, <laughs> completely disinterested. Oh, my goodness, they do not plow the roads out in uh, suburban Chicago. It is miserable. It's terrible. It's horrible. Uh, whatever. Uh, Avian Awesome there. Some good stuff from him, too. So, yes, yeah, check it out. Check it all out. It's all very cool, very cool. And uh, we did. I am going to do the drawing tomorrow, okay? The drawing for the $50 Cabela's card. I have, I have now reached a substantial amount above 8,000 subs. So, thank you all so much. Thank you to my new subscribers. I do appreciate it. We will do the uh, giveaway tomorrow. I will I will pick a winner for the five, for the uh $50 Cabela's gift card. And if you, I can, you can still enter the contest. If you want to be in the contest, send your, uh, just send an email to camodavidgmx.com. Put a 5K, or put down 8K or 8,000 on the subject line. So you got to send it to that address, okay? I have some other email addresses that people are sending uh, entrance, entrance to, um, sending, yeah. They're not going to be, I'm only picking from the GMX email, okay? So you got to send it to camodave at GMX email at gmx.com. Camodave at gmx.com. If you send it to another email address, it ain't going to count, okay? Because that's the only account where I'm going to spin the wheel and pick somebody. So if you send it somewhere else, send another one to camodave at gmx.com. If you want to get in the contest, today you can enter and I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the pick tomorrow, okay? Which is uh, when... Today's Tuesday, right? You know, Wednesday. All right. All right, folks. That should do it for er, for today, which is the, uh, the 20... Tim, I don't even know what the day... What? I don't know what the day is. I don't care what the day is. What is the day? The 29th. All right. January 29th. All right. And as I said, I got some big travel plans next... We're, I'm, my birthday week coming up next week, and then I've got some big travel plans, a couple cool places. So uh, more about that later. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Vlog under... <laughs>